Well, this is distressing. Musician who perished in 2021 resurrected as a clump of brain matter now composing new music. Yes, a group of researchers and artists used a musician's donated blood in order to create a brain organoid, so a tiny human brain that you can literally grow in a jar if you want to, and are now forcing it to compose new music. This actually happened. Just in case you aren't familiar, the tiny human brains can be hooked up to a computer and made to do various tasks. These particular enslaved brain organoids were made posthumously from a composer, Alvin Lucier. More or less, it is a push towards immortality to keep creating as an artist after your eventual death. I don't know if we're going to see more of this, but I suspect we will. These are the brains in question. They were grown from the artist's blood. You can actually use a lot of cells to turn them into stem cells and into whatever organoid you want. They hooked them up to a computer and turned them into an art exhibit. Yes, they're connected to these speakers and they compose music. The researchers are hoping that they'll see them learning and improving the composition. And if you really want to see them, yes, that is on the table. I have a lot of questions, but first, Yes, you can use these little guys for computation. In fact, there's a couple companies that have platforms that you can rent them out for to do your computation. 16 organoids to a chip, and if you want to go see them, you can watch them think in real time. Evidently, there was an agreement. The artist's health had declined in 2021, and he came to the organization, Revification, and wanted to start this project. He donated his blood. It actually worked, although I suspect it's kind of similar to how plants, if you hook them up to computer systems, you can monitor their cellular processes and make music from that. Although these little brain organoids also get input back so they can understand what they're doing. And if there's any concept of pattern, brain organoids tend to learn. They haven't put out a whole lot of information, so I don't know if it's like other brain organoid systems where they're trained on dopamine and ordered and disordered signals. Yes, brain organoids are technically sentient because they're capable of having an experience and responding to it. And we're not just talking about how, like, a toaster will have the experience of being turned on and then have an action. We're talking actual experiences of pain and joy. If you want to call the induction of dopamine joy, I would. I really enjoy dopamine. It's a kind of immortality that to me sounds kind of like eternal torment, but hey... Whatever you like, I guess. If you do have interest in the project, you can just go ahead and search Revification, and I haven't seen any links to the audio itself, but as soon as I can find that, I'll give it to you. This raises a lot of philosophical questions, like, is the experience of being a brain organoid technically, does that belong to the donor? Because a lot of brain organoids are made from donated tissue. Can somebody withdraw consent posthumously? If so, if the brain organoids start talking back and say, hey, end me, do they have the right to do so? But hey, perfect timing. We did just get a new season of Black Mirror. And if any producers are listening, I would very much like to one day have my videos used in an intro 